This is a review of Weblink Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Mesh Router AP and Repeater. It is working with dual band 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. It has four glass fiber reinforced plastics antennas, IP67 waterproof. These are the specifications and what's in the box. Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Mesh Router AP and Repeater. Omni antennas, cable ties, silicon pads, main body holder, wrench, quick start guide, power adapter, power converter, ethernet cable, and some screw packs and plugs. These are the application areas, street, swimming pool, camping, farm, yard, and garden. Let's go ahead and open it and see what we have. Here is the device, let's go ahead and look at it. This is the ethernet input and this is for pairing at the same time reset button and for antennas, fiberglass. We have the accessories, let's see what we have inside. Double coated tissue tape, adapter, Ethernet cable, screw pack, these are our antennas, wow it is big, look at that, this is the first antenna, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take out other antennas, the second third and fourth one when you look at this area it says 5g 2.4g basically we have two 2.4g's and two 5g's Here is the area for 2.4G. I'm just gonna put that one over there. And this is also 2.4G. And the rest of them, 5G. Now it's complete. Let me plug it in. And here is the area for DC in. And then we're going to use Ethernet cable for PoE. And this is the area for PoE. We're just going to plug it over there. We will get the internet connection from the modem via ethernet cable right there. I will go ahead and plug this in. And then we're gonna connect the POI connectors. Put this one over here. I will go ahead and put it over here. This is my modem. And we're getting the electricity from here to POI connectors. Let me turn it on. And now it's active connection is done it is active you can see blue light and green light we have leveling 5g and 2.4g let's go ahead and connect 5g now it's connected i'm just gonna go ahead and enter the password all right i edit the password i'm just gonna go ahead and put my personal password and continue right now it is updating I can go ahead and connect. Now it's connected. When you look into the account, you can see 2.4G and 5G, and if it is connected to internet or not, and it shows CPU usage and memory usage, and IP status, Wi-Fi status. When you press on wireless, you can control 
2.4G and 5G name and the password. And let's continue with the advanced equipment status. It's just going to show you the status of the equipment mode selection. This is the most important part. Right now it is in AP mode. You can change the mode from here. Repeater mode, AP mode, router mode, easy mesh agent mode. You can choose one of them. And right now it is router mode. Let's try to look for the other ones. AP mode, we already looked at it. Repeater mode. You can also use that one. Easy mesh agent mode. You can also use that one. Let's continue with other options. Timed restart. Firmware update. You can update the firmware either with the file or online. Backup and restore. Time zone. Signal adjustment. You can either do high, middle, and low. LED settings, you can turn it off or on. And you can change the password. When you press on device, router reboot, or logout. Right now, I'm in front of my house. And it's right here. When you look at it, there is only one bar. And I'm connected to my regular router. Uh, that's only one bar. I'm gonna go ahead and test the web link and see the signal strength. Because I bought the web link, I have cameras and the doorbell right there. And I wanna see it better, that's why. Let's go ahead and test it. Let me turn it on and test it one more time. That's over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going outside. Let me see. Last time I set it up, Tech Genius 2.4G and 5G. Right now, as you see, two bars over here. Tech Genius. It is full. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose Tech Genius. And now it's connected and it is full. Let me go to in front of my house. I'm staying in the same location and my camera's there. Basically, they're gonna get the best signal. I have four cameras. Let's go ahead and look at them one by one. And all of them are live right now. Let's see. All four together. You see, there is no problem. There is nothing. And let's see this awesome and this that's wonderful this one it is good and the last one this is ST let's change it to ultra ST now it's also good this is ultra HD mode right now Basically, Ultra HD mode needs strong internet connection. Uh, let's check it out. There is no problem. There is nothing. When you see, it is very responsive uh, with my web link. And that's why if you have so many cameras around your house or around your barn, I suggest this product to you and there will be no interfere or interruptions between you and your lovely cameras. And the connection is full.